Hello, my name is Chowren, and I am a Ret Paladin on the private server Molten Wow. And this is a tutorial that I've made about how to customize your user interface or UI to enhance your gameplay. I don't claim to be the best player around, but I'm decent. I've earned lots of titles and achievements and things like that on the server that I play on, and I attribute my success, at least in part, to good user interface setup. There are a lot of benefits to having a customized user interface. For one, you can focus your attention on what you should be paying attention to and get rid of any clutter that can be distracting. If you're playing on a private server, as I am here, the add-ons that work well will never go out of date. So once you find something that works well, you can just keep using it forever without any worries of new patches or things like that coming along to mess it up. I have two primary philosophies that I use to set up my UI for one of my new characters. The first is that I want to get rid of anything from my screen that isn't relevant to me. This means anything that I can hide, such as action bars, blizzard art, bag bars, and things like that. What exactly isn't relevant will often depend on exactly which class it is that you're playing. The second philosophy I have is to try to get things that are more important closer to the center of my screen and to have things that are less important more towards the outer edge. When I play, I'm focused on the middle of my screen. I want to see where I'm standing. You should always have a clear field of view around your character so that you know where you're standing and whether or not you're standing in fire. Close to the middle of my screen, but carefully not obstructing my view of my character. The next things I want to see are, first, things that have to do with my rotation. Since I'm playing a paladin here, I use an add-on called CLC Red but Ford Exorcist and Power Auras are also popular add-ons for this type of thing. You need to know which ability you should be using right now and which ability you should be using next so that you can always be anticipating rather than reacting to a situation. The second thing I want to keep track of are my debuffs. If I get Necrotic Plague, I want to know that immediately, as one tick of this will kill me if I don't dispel it quickly. Swarming Shadows and the Bite from the Blood Queen Lanathel encounter are other examples where having your debuffs placed in a prominent position on your screen is really going to be key to performing well. I place mine to the left of my character and I have enlarged them using an add-on called Citrina's Buff Frames, which is also the add-on that I use to monitor my beneficial buffs, my auras. The third thing you want to see is your boss timer. I use big wigs in this tutorial, but deadly boss mods or Deus Vos Encounters DXE are also good add-ons for this. I think most people use DBM, but I like the ability to customize big wigs better. You really should take the time to customize these add-ons. You don't necessarily need to see every timer, and some timers are a lot more important than others. For example, on the Lich King encounter, I don't care about the infest timer since I'm not a healer, but I super emphasize Defile so that I get not only a timer but also an audible countdown for when it's about to be cast so that I don't place the Defile in the middle of the raid. A fourth thing that I have shown pretty close to the middle of my screen is the enemy cast bar. When an enemy is casting something, I want to know it, be it the Lich King summoning vile spirits, or Precious casting Devastate, I always want to know. Keep in mind, this is only for enemies. You don't want a healer spamming your screen with flash of lights if you target them. The last thing I keep close to the middle of my screen are the short-term buffs and cooldown procs that are important for maximizing DPS. Specifically, I mean item cooldown procs. I use an add-on called Need to Know for this, but there are many other options for doing the same thing. I've got mine set up to display my ring, trinkets, wings, heroism, and potion buffs, which are all very short duration buffs. I've also got a tracker right next to that for the cooldowns on my trinket and ring, so that I know when they're about to come off cooldown. I do this so that on a fight where I know the approximate duration, I can plan a strategy for the best possible use of both my wings and my potion. Ideally, I want to stack as many of these buffs as I possibly can. So knowing which buffs are up and which ones will be up soon is a real key to squeezing that last bit of DPS out of your character. When you use the default UI, these things are displayed, but they're not positioned very well. Um, and so you have to take your eyes away from the middle of your screen 
or have to search around, and they're easily distracted from the things that are more important. It's much less than an optimal setup. So using add-ons to tweak your eye, you can really maximize your gameplay. Uh, I'm going to go around the outside of my screen now and walk you through some of the other add-ons that I use and the, and the reasons why I've done them. Going around the outside of my screen, I'm going to walk you through some of what I've done and the reasons why I've done it. I placed all of my buff auras in the top right hand corner and I made them a bit smaller than they are by default. I've already talked about the short term duration buffs that I track, so all of these buffs are longer in duration and don't really affect my gameplay other than when I verify that they're there before a boss pull. Once combat starts, these become pretty unimportant. The next add-on you see is called Pally Power, and it is used for keeping track of auras. Righteous Fury, Seals, Paladin buffs. For Paladins, this add-on is really amazing. It's unique to Paladins, but if you're responsible for buffing your party or raid, you should have some way of keeping track of people's buffs so that you know when it needs to be reapplied. This is also akin to a Shaman's Totem Timers. Basically, you want to know when these buffs are about to run out, if a fight lasts long enough for them to run out. I also use an add-on to enhance my tooltip. This lets me move it around and uh, position it wherever I like, and it also lets me configure which information is displayed. By tweaking it with an add-on called Tip Tech, I can see players' talents and guild rank by mouse over, even if they aren't in my guild, which is kind of a nifty thing to have. In the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I have an add-on running called Scada. Scada is a lot like Recount, an add-on I'm sure many people are familiar with. Note that I've removed the title bar and left it a bit more minimalistic in appearance. It's also out of the way. While it's nice to see how you're doing in a raid, competition almost always seems to push people a little bit more than they would otherwise push themselves. This isn't something you want to focus on during a boss fight. Keep it on the periphery and out of the way. It might even be a good idea to disable this altogether in combat if you can't help look at it whenever you should be paying attention to the fight. My focus frame is right above this, and I've really only put it here so that you can see where I placed it. It's only useful in certain fights, and some fights it's completely useless. You should have a focus frame so that you can see it if you need it for a fight. So as a paladin, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I have it shown here just so you can see where it's at. Now the really important stuff. Action bars are a humongous part of your UI. You should keep behind as many of your important abilities as you can without having to stretch your hands too far away from your movement keys, which for most people are WASD. I won't go into key binding here too much. Um, there are other places you can go to Google or YouTube uh, how to do this correctly or to optimize your keybinding. But I do suggest that you put some real thought into your keybinds and get used to them. Keybinds do you no good if you can't remember them, so practice, practice, practice. The next thing I want to talk about using bar add-ons, like bartenders or dominoes, is that they allow you to shrink or expand, they allow you to hide them or to show them only on mouse over. Basically, you can make them look like any configuration you can imagine. And on top of that, most of these action bar add-ons have a built-in keybinding feature that makes it much, much easier than by using the default Blizzard interface method to keybind all your, your abilities. I've placed all of the buttons that I use most frequently and that don't have a cooldown on a bar that I keep hidden and display only the abilities that are either not bound, are rarely used, or abilities that have cooldowns that I wish to monitor. Next to my action bars is Omen, the threat meter that I use. In this version of WoW, there is a built-in threat meter, and I don't disable this with my tooltip add-on, but it's really not in a good position to be really readily visible. I've got Omen set up to make noises when I get too close to the tank on threat, as this is the cue I need to give myself salvation so I don't pull aggro. In this video here, I actually die at one point to the Beasts of Northrend encounter. Um, because I approached the tanks on threat and used Hand of Salvation on myself and then plowed on ahead like a rookie instead of hitting escape and letting my threat get to a more manageable level. As I said in the beginning, I'm a good player, but I'm not amazing. I make mistakes all the time. Moving on to the chat window, I've used add-ons to clean this up as well. I've gotten rid of all the buttons that are normally on the left side, and I put the edit box on top so that I can squeeze the chat frame all the way down to the corner. This frees up more real estate on my screen. 
I also divide my chat frame into different windows so that I can monitor raid chat in one frame and monitor global channels that tend to expand in another window. Chat add-ons also let you see timestamps, clickable links, and player levels in chat. Good add-ons for this are ChatMod and Pratt. Another add-on I use is SunArt, and it's not necessarily readily apparent in this video, but it's the bar all the way at the bottom of my screen. This add-on lets me push my entire viewport up so that the bottom of my screen, where many of the add-ons and action bars are showing, isn't actually covering up my game. This is a really nice add-on for combining lots of information with a large field of view. The unit frames that I use are Pitbull, and I'm also a big fan of shadow unit frames. The trick to these add-ons are to take the time to make sure they're set up properly. For example, in my player frame, I don't need to see my own name. I already know what it is. I don't need to see what class my target is either if I have plates colored by class. All that redundant information can detract from more important information, so you want to get rid of it whenever possible. Since I only either DPS or tank, I don't need to see party or raid frames in the middle of my screen either, like you would if you were healing. So I keep a tight column on the outer left edge that only shows me a health bar, debuffs of a player, and tells me the name of the player. That's all I need. On the top left corner is my minimap. I use an add-on to reduce the information displayed here, which would otherwise be mostly duplicated by Titan Panel. And I use an add-on called Minimap Button Frame to scoop up all the minimap buttons, especially the ones that are there as a result of add-ons, and display them in a neat and orderly way. Good add-ons for customizing your minimap are either going to be Pocket Plot or Sexy Map. Lastly, the top of my screen is an add-on called Titan Panel. This add-on keeps track of my latency and durability and things like that. It's useful information, but only is useful information out of combat, and that's why it's way up on the outer edge. Basically, in short, uh, as a recap, I just want to say that if you don't use add-ons, you'll still be able to play the game effectively. But if you do use add-ons, and you take the time to really set them up in a thoughtful way, you can enhance your gameplay to the point where you have a real advantage over players that haven't taken the time to customize their user interface. That's really one of the strongest points about World of Warcraft, is the ability to customize the way your screen looks in terms of opportunity lost. So those are my final thoughts, and I just wanted to say if you have any questions, feel free to send